Well, I hope you're all well. You've had a good week. Um, enjoyed going back to school and seeing some friends if you've gone back to school. Uh, whatever you might have been doing, um, enjoying the sunshine, maybe. Um, but last week we had a video where we looked at an introduction to the fruit of the Spirit. And, you know, there was a, a reading in there. Um, perhaps you might want to test yourself, see if you can remember uh, what the nine parts of the fruit of the Spirit were. Uh, but this week, this uh, Sunday morning, uh, the children are going to look at the first on the list, the first trait, as they call it, of the fruit of the Spirit. Now, we're going to watch a, a little a little thing, a uh, clip from our wedding, actually. Um, I could have uh, used the illustration myself, but uh, I thought Jim put it across very well. Um, so here's a little clip from our wedding, which will give you a bit of a clue. Um, some of you may recognise some of the song titles that are in there and that know what it is this week. One thing that the Beatles said is all you need. And Wet 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 said he's all around, and Joe Cocker said would lift us up where we belong. Doris Day had a secret one, Leona Lewis had a bleeding one, and Soft Cell had a tainted one. Elvis Presley had a burning one, and Donny Osmond had a puppy one, and Whitney Houston had the greatest one of all. Dionne Warwick said she'll never do it again. Ray Charles said he can't stop doing it, and JLS say they do it more than anyone. Cheryl Coles said she's going to fight for it. Beyonce said she's crazy for it. Elton John asks if you're ready for it. And Gary Barlow says it won't wait. Jennifer Lopez says it don't cost a thing. The searchers warn us not to throw it away. The Black Eyed Peas ask where has it gone? But it's okay because Rihanna says she's found it. If you're a little bit older, you would know some of the song titles. Um, perhaps if you didn't, uh, you might have seen on the last on uh, last week's video, the very first of these these traits of the fruit of the spirit was love. Now that word love can mean so many different things. Now also last week we looked at different fruits. You know, I brought a banana in and, and things and apples. I wonder if love was an actual fruit, what fruit would it be? Well, this would be one of my favourite fruits, actually. This is a strawberry. Strawberries are, you know, they're red. Usually they're, they're red, um, as long as they're ripe, of course. Uh, Emma's had a go at growing some. Um, it hasn't, hasn't worked out as well as the tomatoes, but it, it's good to have a go at growing them anyway. These ones are um, from... Uh, I don't know. I think they're from Morrison's, yeah. They're from Morrison's supermarket, these uh, particular strawberries. But, you know, these are, strawberries are red, which is a colour which is often associated with love. Strawberries grow together in small bunches. And, you know, togetherness is important for them. The fruit of love. Imagine, you know, if love was an actual fruit, strawberries would be the one that we'd be comparing it to. They taste quite sweet, strawberries. Yeah. If you ever see yeah, uh, Wimbledon when it's on TV, they, they say that people like you know, when the tennis is on to eat strawberries. Uh, and you used to get strawberries only in the summer, but now you can buy them all year round. Uh, so I do like strawberries as well. I do have to confess, um, I knocked these strawberries on the floor as I was getting them out of the fridge. Um, so I'm not going to eat them, um, but I'll give them to Bruce. Um, Bruce likes them, he doesn't mind if they're on the floor, if they've been on the floor. So uh, Bruce, Bruce is going to have these strawberries, I'm going to have to go to the shops and buy some more, uh, some more strawberries. Um, but do think about that, strawberries, if, if love was a fruit, it would be a strawberry. Now we can use the word love to describe so many things, so many things in our lives. We might say we really love this or we really love that or we love it when we do that. But it doesn't always mean the same thing. I wonder what the word love actually means 
to some of the people in our church. I really love my grandchildren. I love my garden. I love a cup of tea made by my husband. I love church. I absolutely love our dog Archie. Archie, where are you? I forgot, he's on holiday. I made myself, made myself look after that person and be care, caring. Yeah. And I gradually found the dislike disappeared. And mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know. it, it, a lot of these things are choices, they aren't are. they? Yeah. They are choices yeah. and we either choose to love or we choose not to love. Yeah. And as Christians, we must, we must choose to love. We might like, but we must choose to love. Yeah. Yeah. He chose to love us. Yeah. We didn't choose him, he chose us. In our sin. Which is 